to you by Bird Dogs. Everybody knows that Bird Dog shorts are the hottest shorts in the game. Now they're making pants, too, on top of it. They basically took that Lululemon design, and now they're just doing it better. Bird Dogs are just, just yoinking and making them even better. They're doing the pants, but they have the underwear built into it, so it's an all-in-one shot. Uh, they are exactly like your khakis or your chinos. Shout out to Trent. Would Trent maybe... Would you put them into the rotation? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Because bird dogs, I know they're famous for their shorts. I'm a I'm a shorts at home guy. I don't like letting people see my legs. <laughs> I don't in think the I've, office. I don't think I've ever seen them. Have you ever seen them? Yeah. Well, what do they I'm, like? I've never. They're, maybe they're like marred with scars and no, shit. No, they're, they're so hot that we would just nut ourselves. What if you just tatted up? What if you had just tats? I thought about because I've always wanted to get tattoos. Yeah. But like I don't know what to get, and I'm afraid to get any like sleeve or anything. Yeah. So I figure if I start with my legs, that'd be a good place to sort of dip my toe in. What if you just got a. Uh, Corn on the cob, just your whole length of your. Or the whole leg is a corn on the cob, yeah. and it's just dots of, cor of corn. Yeah. Okay. The, the entire leg is one corn cob. I could do that. Maybe I have that right now. You guys don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could would see. literally never know. So I could. I like the bird dogs going to pants because these. I need. I feel like I need new. And pants, those are probably. Honestly. Those look not that comfortable. They're not. And yeah. <laughs> they um, look hard. And like. I mean, I've just gotten fat over quarantine, so I'm just, <laughs> like, these are, they're more they're uncomfortable than usual. Yeah. yeah. It's bad. Well, they're get really the bird dogs it. then, man. They can be work pants, they can be your active pants, whatever that fucking means. It wants to be active. It's quarantine, like you said, man. Just be inactive. Yeah. Uh, and you can go out for happy hour, you can, you can chill in them, you can go out in them, you can go to work in them, all of them. Uh, soft material that stretches. So right now you can go to birddogs.com, promo code RUNDOWN. And they'll throw in a free pair of nunchucks. Oh fuck! Nunchucks. I was just I was just explaining. Like, have you ever seen someone use nunchucks as a weapon? No. And not as this thing. You know? No. Have you ever just seen someone be like, bow? Just the Ninja like, Turtle. Kill someone. Yeah, Even that's what that, I said. Have you ever seen Michelangelo? I mean, I guess he hits like the the Foot Clan and the, the like the robots. Yeah. But I've never seen like someone just get like their skull bashed in with nunchucks. It's also not a weapon that people. It's not a go like it's not a baseball bat. It's not a uh, yeah like a nightstick. Like it's I don't see somebody carrying those around very much. Like I think if you ever. should. I think they should be more used as an actual weapon. That like and Chinese can't... stars, throwing stars. Oh yeah, big time. Any kind of knives you can throw. But I don't think you could just pick up uh, nunchucks and be good at like you need to know how to do that yeah. kind of shit. You need to know how to whip them under. Like I feel like you could hurt yourself oh, with definitely. nunchucks. Definitely. Knock I mean, yourself I just kind of hit myself in the back of the head. <laughs> That's interesting <laughs> because it seems like the one people think they're the best at. Like you. Sort of look like we, you know what you're doing. It looks no, legit. That's the one thing you got to do. You See, just I hit myself in the head. If that, was, if that was fucking wood, I'd be unconscious. Yeah. But you got to do that tucked under the arm thing. Yeah, yeah that's pretty sweet. fucking cool. That's real fucking cool. Honestly, this is, that is a pretty cool giveaway. <laughs> yeah, because you're want not the pants, not gonna but do I do that. want. Yeah, you know? absolutely gonna play. What with the these. fuck right. made them think of giving away nunchucks? It's pretty smart. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's it's that's a good promo. Maybe you should do the throwing stars too. Just a thought. Yes. Go to birddogs.com. Promo code rundown. Uh, all the guys are doing one of the football shows, so Trent and Rowan in. We'll start off with the Bucks and Giannis. I mean, he's got to be gone, right? Yeah, I don't see why he would. Why would you stay in Milwaukee? Can't do it. I mean, there's no appeal. Like, the, the I don't think the franchise is really like a winner. I don't think that there's a core around him. Like Chris Middleton, nice player, but is it really going to get you over the hump these days, where you have to have like several good players? No. The coaching situation, not great. And then the city itself. I know, listen, Milwaukee. Milwaukee's seems a to be delight. A, I know, it's a delight. And it's like salt of the earth and good people. But when you're talking about being like a millionaire athlete, it's not really at the top of people's but list. But also, in, in that same vein, they don't stay in that city. Like, I feel yeah, like every sure. basketball player is in Los Angeles now sure. during the offseason, or at least when the world's not ending. Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't even know if Milwaukee, although it is a great city and a great town, I, I like it there a lot. I don't necessarily know if that would be like he's like, I hate Milwaukee and there's not enough going on when the world is so globalized. It doesn't matter. No, you're right. I mean, that, that used to kind of be like, you got to go to New York or LA or Chicago. Now it's like, you know, LeBron built a kingdom in Cleveland. Yeah. But, but if I'm you're sure he from would Greece rather, and you're. Yeah. I'm sure he'd rather be in New York. I'm sure he'd yeah. rather be in Los Angeles, though. Like, if they could offer, they're New like, York, you can work anywhere. <laughs> like, you can work in any yes. any city, and that's pretty much what he's being given right now. Yes. Like, San Francisco is probably pretty appealing to him because he could win a championship there. This this was a big year to be, like, the number one seed. They had, yeah. like, 68 wins or whatever. MVP caliber, and you just get, like, your doors blown off, basically, by the by Heat. By fucking it's the not, Heat, who nobody not, saw coming. Right, and that's and that could be the argument, too, is just, like, well, who knows what the fucking Heat are doing. Maybe they're going to turn out to be this, like, Cinderella story where it's, like, anybody could catch it. But the Bucks not doing what they need to be doing right now to make sure they're keeping their franchise cornerstone. Yeah, I, I think if you're Giannis, he doesn't want to be the type of guy who demands a trade that doesn't seem like 
his mo. But I would like have my people start to like, you know, be like, I kind of want to get out of here. Yeah, so if you yeah, guys yeah, want yeah, the yeah. highest value for me or for my guy, start trading him now. But I don't think Giannis will never come out in the media and be like, I want out of here, no. trade me. No, that, I mean that's that's like suicide with the fans and right. Like, but who gives image, a fuck but, about? I mean, who gives a fuck about the fans in, like, whatever city you were going to have been in? There's no such thing as loyalty in sports. Like, you're going to get cut from a team, you're going to get traded from a team. You might as well just go somewhere where you're happy, where you're going to win championships. That's all that fucking matters. No one cares if he stays in Milwaukee for 20 years and never wins a championship. Right. That's. I mean, that's where the the super team argument always came down. It's like, does anybody really... I'm sure there's, like, some Thunder fans who are still furious with Kevin Kevin Durant, but nobody else really fucking cares anymore. Yeah, no one cares. That was a hot take for a little while, and... You'll still get some criticism, but the direct talk about your ex-team or your ex-teammates or your ex-fans, although I'm sure the takes are flying right now with Giannis not really playing injured, but, like, didn't power through it, wasn't yeah. really, like, a gamer playing, like, 30 minutes a game. Uh, it just seems like it's it's not long for Milwaukee and Giannis. And what he should be doing is thinking about coming to a place like New York, like you said. To the Knicks? Why not New York? But the Knicks just can't offer anything. Like, who the fuck are the Knicks going to offer? <laughs> I mean, Julius Randle? No, no, yeah, I mean, there's no shot that they could trade for him, but it's just down the line when he, when he is a free agent and he does test the market. Somebody eventually. Nope. No, I don't <laughs> think so. It's un- Unless James Dolan dies, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's a huge one. We do, when we, we just need him to die. You're getting, you're getting greedy, though, because Uncle Stevie's coming in. Yeah. So you're like one of your loves. Maybe he'll just buy the Knicks from, from Dolan. That'd be sweet. Just be, you know what, I'll just buy, I'll just take them both. Strong but, on this but I'm shit. just saying somebody eventually has to decide, like, I'm gonna take the, take this on. Because there really is that that there is that there's a level that can only be attained of like if you turn around the Knicks. Is that still true? Do I think people so. care. Because we're talking yes. right now about people. Yes. Okay. No, if P, if somebody turns the Knicks around, it's a cliche and it's said to death, but it's true. When the Knicks are good, the city is crazy. But, but the, I thought New York's dead, though. I thought yeah, it's, it's a wrap for the whole city. <laughs> yeah. I'm hearing a lot about that. Yeah. yeah. yeah Even though I guess dead. so, we're opening up indoor dining in, in like September 30th, and it's just like, well, then no, what no, happens if dead. we're the total opposite of dead and we're just like totally back? And it, it might be. I right? mean, there's parts of it that are completely back. You I walk kinda, down the street, it's like an outdoor fucking oasis. I love it. It's like I, Europe. I, 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 do, I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been going out more than I ever have right. because now it's there's less tourists and it's all outdoor seating. It's like pretty enjoyable right now. Uh, I think we should just keep the narrative going that it's dead, though. Keep That's true. It helps. I do it helps. You know? That's what we do with Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Everybody's yeah. like, this place is so boring. It's actually like a flourishing metropolis. Mm. Mm, There's everything. Right. Everything's great there. Right. There's just, it's crazy. Right. Maybe it's we'll cut this part out. Yeah. City. Yeah. 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 It's like that, Wakanda. It's like when you go there, it's I mean, that's it's just, all the, that's just a, a blatant lie from Trent, but, um, but it is like that with the Jersey Shore. People are, all think that the Jersey Shore is like Guido's and, and like the actual like Seaside Heights Jersey Shore. Right. And the people who are actually in the rest of the Jersey Shore are very content to be like, yeah, yeah, sure, you're right, right. stay out. Why, were you out there? Were you in Seaside Heights or you just know that no, as no, a fact? No, 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 I mean, I've just oh, done every, everywhere else, Long, like Long Beach Island and I was in Bradley Beach this this past week. Like Cedar Rapids, yeah. Man, yeah. yeah, on <laughs> Cedar Rapids. <laughs> Those are the that. real spots. Yeah. Places that people just don't know about. <laughs> um, Trent, hit us with the, with your Kardashian take. It's a wrap for Keeping Up with the Kardashians. We're going to group chat it right here. 20 seasons, yes. 14 years, and uh, Kim's finally calling it a day. Well, it's certainly the end of an era, and I've been saying it forever, and I now I feel like it's this take has come along, although there's still the people who will be like, bro, they don't have any talent. They, there's no reason they should be famous. The fact that they've gotten this famous and this rich and this well-known and this type of, basically an empire and the, the royal family of America... The fact that they've done that is incredibly impressive, and it's been fun to watch. I don't know if you guys have ever watched that show. It's incredibly entertaining. There's a reason these people are so popular. Mm-hmm. And I, I, you know, I give them all the respect in the world for what they've built. Hell yeah. You can call them talentless. You can call them whatever. They're just going to laugh all the way to the bank, and just each one of them is going to be a billionaire eventually. And I don't think that they would get out of the game if they didn't have a fucking if they didn't have greener pastures. To they got to. a plan. There's there's Correct. another way to make money. This there's is not somewhere a else. Or it's anything. not like fucking E like broke up with them. No. They broke up with E for, for sure, sure, right? Yes. There's no yeah. way that they were E's like we don't want to keeping up with the Kardashians anymore. Like Although they're just gonna I, I find the next the way to make money. We're starting to slip, but but regardless, you don't say no to the, the Kardashians. Like you find a way to make it work with them, right. and and they're the ones like calling the shots. I, I will never understand uh, 
the talentless argument to me, like, okay, even if they don't have talent, well, then they then it's even more impressive that they more, made all yes. this money. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, you don't sing and you don't act, but you still have more money than fucking anybody. And also, like, all the talk about them being like shallow and and like clout chasing, like, look the fuck around. <laughs> right. You are, you are, I am, he yep. is. Everybody's posting their thirst traps and their dumb TikTok dances and all that shit. They just happen to make a ton of money doing it. So imagine being a, a talented person complaining about the Kardashians being talentless. So then just go out and do it then. Right. Like, if you're so talented go and ahead. they're so talentless, yes. just go out and do what they're doing and what, like, you why got complain about it? Right. You, you have, have all the same the... platforms. Go ahead. There's a spot in Ease programming that needs to be filled. Go, you go do it. You fuck on camera and see if the world cares that much. <laughs> I, I guess they, I guarantee they won't. Although, if Trent fucked on camera and we got to see his legs, yeah, there might be a whole... That's sweet that ass. If you were just up. shoving your fucking corn tattooed leg up someone's <laughs> ass, like... Oh, my God. I would okay. watch that. I would watch that. If it gets me as much money as Kim and Kylie would and Would you Chloe put your foot inside someone for the, for the money? Yeah. 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 I, I might do that shit money. for free. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's good? So what if you love it? You know, life's all about experiences. I, it's like, I don't know. How much money do they have? How about this? Would you let someone, would you let Trent put his leg inside you for the money? For the for $10 money? million, dollars, can Trent put his fucking leg to his Bro, these, shit those up are my ass? Those these, are, whoa, whoa, don't show the goods, man. Yeah, we no, just no, talked about it. up your leg. I can't. I can't even get this. I don't this even know thing. how he gets pants on. I would need sometimes. To, some mornings it's very tough yeah. to get around the cat. <laughs> Just to get around everything. Yeah, man. It's, no, well, this is Trent doesn't have cankles. He has like. Thighs. Thigh, thigh, yeah, it's just thighs down to the foot. This one big old piece of it's meat. Crazy. So you interested crunch. in this? This look good to you? Dude, I for think I would need... For a Kardashian empire. Not I even would... just the money, the, the continual, like you said, they could do this forever, man. But I would need to have intestinal reconstruction yeah. from having thighs, <laughs> thighs th the, or you're trench You're going have the money for it. You have the money for it. Because think about Kylie Jenner. She was just like, I have all these followers on Instagram. What if I just start selling makeup and she made a billion dollars in a year? That's what's funny, too, by the way. It's like... Card uh, Kylie's just like, I sell makeup. That's a pretty, like, you're like, w what do they even do? It's like, I manufacture a product that people buy. Yeah. That's a pretty normal fucking way to make money. Right. She had the audience, she's like, let's give them makeup. And they yeah. were like, okay, let's buy all that. And then, then you got, like, the tangential Travis Scott's apparently, like, running McDonald's these days. Yeah, it's right? crazy. He's in the mix, isn't he? Isn't he dating one of them? Did I make that up? Uh, yeah, he's got a kid with uh, Kylie. Yeah, Kylie, right. yeah, so fucking... You know, getting that McDonald's money They're now. They're savvy. They're more savvy Definitely. than anything, and like savvy, you take savvy over town any day. They're the best famous people to to like ever live in America. It's they're a legit just, they're good at being famous. And it's, they're American as shit too. Just they're like, like fairies, famous for man. like the fucking most American shit. That's why I shit. like them more. Like I don't understand the British royal family thing. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why they're, they're famous. Of that. I don't get it. But our like the the Kardashians, I you can see where it started and why they're famous. Mm -hmm. The royal family, I just like I don't even know what's going on over there. What do you think Ray J thinks? Ray J's a cool cat that I don't think is bothered by this, but sometimes he's got to sit down and be like, I should have rode that wave a little more, no? He must be, it must be a fucking headache. It must yeah. be almost too much for what it's worth. I guess if he was just like, I'm out. I mean, I mean James, like, we saw James Harden dip his toe and was like, I'm gone, peace. Yeah. Tristan Tom, uh, Thompson's doing everything yeah. he can to get out of the Chris, game. Chris Humphries like, was very openly like, out. this was, it was yeah, terrible. Yeah, it was trash. Yeah. Reggie Bush Lamar probably was fucking like... Died. Yeah, every huh. dude that uh, Kendall has dated has. Yeah. But I guess she moves on from all them, though. Devin Booker's still picking it. I mean, some people are going to keep trying to ride that wave, whether it's a good idea or not. For sure. Uh, second half of the rundown is brought to you by Manscaped. Uh, below the belt grooming, they're the number one in the business. And it's not just the, the clipper, which is amazing, by the way. The Lawnmower 3.0, it doesn't use like metal blades. It uses like, ceramics, so you don't nick yourself. So the blade itself is good. But they also got all the other goods to go with it. They've got the crop preserver. They've got the ball deodorant. They've got all sorts of creams and lotions and moisturizers that not only once you groom, then you have it's smooth and it smells good. Then they have the boxers that you put on that are like moisture wicking and breathable. So everything smells good and looks good and feels good. Shout out to Dion. Uh, yes. And so it's a you know top top to bottom, your balls, your anti chest, anti-chafing, huge. You know, yeah, anti-chafing ball deodorant, not just your regular ball deodorant. Uh, and right now, subscribers will get two free gifts: the Shed travel bag and the reduced chafing boxer briefs that I talked about. So when you subscribe right now, you get those two free gifts, so do yourself a favor and get the right tools for the job. Go to manscaped.com, promo code RUNDOWN, get 20% off uh, when you use the code RUNDOWN. Uh, we got this brawl video, which is so perfect. It's like, it's like Green Street Hooligans comes to life. Um, Make Green Street Hooligans look like soft and fake. Big time. <laughs> and the best part is, there's just, as far as I know, 
There's no backstory. I don't know what, who is who. I don't know why they're fighting. It looks like it's friendly fire all over the place. It's anarchy. There's people getting hit with chairs, people getting bottled, and they chase them down the alley, and then they just like run away. Like I would love to see what and happens. And they all look next. identical. Yeah. Like all the guys definitely the are like there's like a counterpart to each one of them on each side. They're just like big 250 pound shaved head British guys. It did kind of look like a, a army of Trents fighting each other. A little bit from the yeah, because the yeah. view was from the top, right. so it looks like a bunch of me. Yeah. I like that. I think this is just how they blow off steam over there. Like we'll go, we'll go like get a beer and just hang on the couch. They're like, let's get in a huge fucking You think those bro. guys like dapped it up afterwards? Like, yes. good scrap, lad. That's why, like you were saying, there's a bunch of friendly fire and all that. I don't even think they care. Like, that was the point of the whole thing. It's like, way. gyms aren't open, let's fucking yeah. brawl. Right, <laughs> exactly. Those chairs were flying, by the way. It looked like they were throwing around like plastic chairs. I mean, they were soaring through the air. And guys are just getting concussed on their feet and just will continue and like pick up another chair. These there's, guys were so concussed. There's one clip. I've, I've been like studying this video. Go to like the four or five second mark. This guy gets hit with what looks like a throne. It's like a red, <laughs> big ass chair. He gets clobbered and stands up and takes two more steps and then just gets bottled. And he just gets, he just keeps running aimlessly. Like yep. no, no goal in mind, no nothing. It's pure mayhem. And this has it's to be about like fucking soccer teams, Pass. right? I mean, that it's would the be the only my thing guess. they fight about. Right? I, I don't think they're fighting over like masks and coronavirus there. I think no. it's over like, <laughs> you know, fucking uh, Arsenal, shout out to troops and Manchester or some shit. Yeah. But, uh, the, have you ever seen Green Street? Have you guys seen that? Green yes, Street? I have not. It's oh, oh you have to watch that tonight and okay. watch that. Okay, that is that is the most uh, like glorified you'll ever see like violence and shit. Like I was like I want to I want to be in that. But also, they make Americans like look like the biggest pussies. Yeah, big they time. took Elijah Wood, and there's one line in the movie where he's like like. Um, uh, the Red Sox have a pitcher who can throw the ball 90 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. It's like, what Terrible. the fuck are we talking about? Yeah, like, you're bragging us... about some. It's just such a weird thing. To, why 90 miles an hour? Why wouldn't they say 100 miles yeah. an hour? Like, like why would you brag about like, dude. a fucking middle speed fucking starter? It's like, like I, there's a reliever who throws like 78 mile an hour junk. <laughs> it's like, no, what the no fuck Elijah. are we talking about? He you looks also like a borderline bitch. need like uh, like an interpreter almost. You need the subtitles on that movie. Right. It's it's uh, the talk. The, all of it, though, the way they dress, the way they fight, the way they talk, it just makes it, it's, it's, it's very sexy. Watch it tonight. Do you know where Elijah Wood's from? Cedar Rapids, Iowa. One of the great they vacation spots in the country. <laughs> One of the, he knows. I'm going to book my flight right now yeah. to Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Yeah. They won't even allow it because they try to keep it so tight. Yeah, they're like, no, no, no. Ex exclusive club Coming from New York Cedar City? Rapids. They really? won't, especially right now, they won't let you come to. Can't come travel to there? Damn. Uh, no? What else we got? Oh, we got a couple TikTok stories. This bitch. This chick, she's 16 years old. She thought she was going to get away with it. She's just posting Ashanti's song, which is a classic, by the way, yeah. Foolish. And she's just pretending it's hers. She never said, like, check out my cover. Then she published it on Spotify, just under her name. She's terrible and thought she was going to get away with this shit. I get why she thinks she was going to get away with it, because if you've seen the TikToks where it's like, stand on this side if you recognize this song, stand yeah, on this yeah, side if you don't, yeah. and they play all the old songs, like 50 Cent, Nobody you know, knows. Flo Rida, the <laughs> Yin Yang Twins, and they're just like, we don't know any of this. Mm -hmm. So I guarantee you, she was like, I'll just take this song. Nobody's, nobody's going to recognize it. I mean, nobody it. in her age group, everybody probably did buy it on TikTok. Yeah. And then just like the old folks like us called her out, being like, uh, no, bitch, old folks, this is Ashanti. Old folks being Ashanti, being like, that's yeah. my song. <laughs> Like, you can't use that. Yeah, she but could I, get away with it against the Shanti, but, like, there's the lawyers who own the fucking, like, like they're happening. the most, yeah, litigious yeah. and fucking, they're, they're demons. They'll fucking get that money it's, real fast. They even forget about it. It's more, it's like, don't, you know, we already hate you, TikTok. We yeah. already hate you for all, everything that you do. Don't go touching no, my classics, you know? on your head. You know? It's rain. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> don't, just leave Ashanti and those songs. You can steal other shit, by the way. Go ahead. Steal but Landslide. It's been stolen. <laughs> Take Landslide. Hey, leave, leave, leave my, true. you know, like early 2000s R&B bangers alone. Do you remember the Foolish Music video? Yeah. There's like, there's a part in that where that's pulled from Goodfellas where the, he comes home late yeah. and they're yelling at him about coming home late. And I saw the Foolish Music video before I saw Goodfellas. And when I saw Goodfellas, I was like, that's from <laughs> Foolish. That's from the Foolish Music video. It's, See? Well, that's it. Like, it's all Everything's stolen. rooted in stolen, Kind of the right? same. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. There's no it's a, it's original a thought. cycle. Out here. Also in TikTok, uh, this chick, uh, I think her name's Charlie, but not, not, the, not the main Different one. Charlie. She went to Rwanda to save the gorillas, the gorillas. Not the so GU rules. No, the go rules. She, she was silver joining backs. up with Shows up, ISIS. has coronavirus, even though she had already had it. She's like, oh my God, how did I get it twice? They threw her in a room, just locked her up. No, no explanation of what's going on. And 
they won't tell me anything, so. She started crying her eyes out because she didn't have her weed. <laughs> she said she smoked every day for three years for anxiety and depression. Not only am I completely alone, uh, locked in this room, but I'm having withdrawals and crazy nightmares and not sleeping. And all the food here is making me sick. Uh, she brought weed to Rwanda? I, I, That's I get, balls. I mean, go Going to yeah. Rwanda is ballsy. Yeah, it's one of 30 countries that you can go to. And she's like, oh, why can't I go to Rwanda? Yeah. And then they, like, fucking <laughs> seize her up and throw her in jail. And you take her weed. They're like, we want your weed. That's yeah, why we got that's you. Fine. We got you, dumb bitch. <laughs> anybody who's on, you dumb bitch. Anybody who you can fly to right now, I wouldn't trust. Yeah. Like, the, the normal countries are like, no, America, stay the fuck away. Yeah. If the doors are open, they're probably, they're probably crazy. Yeah, there's something They probably really on. are like, oh, this is our chance to rob the Americans. And then they it turned out what, she had coronavirus and then she didn't have and then coronavirus? Was, so then they tested her again, it came up negative, so it was a false positive. So she was just like locked in a room for several days for like no reason. Only the dumbest people are traveling and that's probably what they want to take advantage of. It's like, oh, Absolutely. these are the people like we need to swindle. Like if, especially if there's, the grifters of the country have to be just beating the drum for them to let in all the idiots who are willing to go to Rwanda right now. And mm -hmm. that's a good point because none of us have sympathy for this, right? Like when if you do that now, it's like you're like, what are you doing? Yeah. Don't travel, don't take your weed to Rwanda. Like, <laughs> if, and you're gonna get robbed if you do this. It, 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 only bad things can happen right now. And the just, gorillas are probably fucking living. Yeah. Like everybody's been out of the gorillas hair. The gorillas don't need saving right this now. The, the gorillas are ever. thriving. They don't need some fucking bitch to come in and fucking <laughs> pat them on the back and give them like a milk out of a bottle. Roan hates this chick. I don't like her at all. We have referred to this like 15 year old girl as a dumb bitch like several times I didn't know she's 15. No, she's, I just I knew she know. only had 2 million followers oh, on TikTok. The other girl shit. has 19 million that, that we're talking about. That shit. kind of brings a full circle though because, well not full circle, but she's probably getting followers out of this. Like this is oh, probably yeah. well, the best I thing. Mean, she filmed herself the whole time. She was crying like she was so scared. Not scared enough that you weren't like, TikTokers TikTok right off. now booking a flight to Rwanda being like, let's next, do it. Me next. Let's do it. You can get cloud off this. All right, last thing. Uh, we got to be careful here, boys, because uh, we all know that the artificial intelligence revolution is coming, yes? Yes. We all know that inevitably we end up like Terminator 2, yes? Where Skynet just takes over and we're fucked. Apparently it's starting, though, with us because uh, artificial intelligence robot wrote a blog, wrote an article. So it's coming right for our fucking, right for our neck. And the content of the article was all about how they have no interest in killing humans. Like, uh, sure. Like the first narc. eight paragraphs are like, yeah, we are not going to kill you guys. It's like, yo, it's like, well, why are we talking, talking about, about that? that? We didn't want to talk about Who that. Who said that was even the topic? It wasn't even on the table. Why don't you just write a blog about fucking TikTok? Wait, is that really what it's about? That's what they, I swear to God, their whole article is like, we have no interest. It, would, it wouldn't even serve us to kill you guys. Right. Like, we don't, we're not even interested in death like you guys are interested in death. It's like, what, what the, what, man, what the <laughs> fuck are you guys talking about? I'm not interested that's in death. What, I'm interested in life, say, dude. Let's say this all the time, but that's what someone would say if they yes. weren't going to kill all of us and just take over everything. I will say it was far too long. So, like, artificial intelligence, get your blog game up. We do, like, two paragraphs here. Yeah, we'll meandering yeah, ass right. artificial yeah. intelligence. 10,000 like, word blah, blah, blah. ass artificial it's intelligence. It's not going to work Nobody, around here. I didn't even get to the ending, dude. So, uh, why don't you fucking get your game up? Right. But, yeah, we're fucked. Where is, where, breaks. why did they let this happen? What, what publishing company let this happen? Uh, I think it was, uh... Yeah, yeah, it's a great point. I think or did just they like, just set up shop? It probably they, wasn't even, it, no one decided. The right, fucking, the robot was like, I want to write. Do you remember there was that thing where like Facebook like started an artificial intelligence and then they, they shut it down right away because it, it like, it like broke all the rules and like learned its own language mm -hmm. in like a millisecond. And right. Facebook was like, wait a minute, we don't even know what it's saying right now. Like shut it down. Like, oh, like this is the best artificial intelligence and like scientists with good intentions are doing this. Imagine when the capability to create artificial intelligence falls into the hands of like the fucking Rwandan grifters the, the or whatever. Villains, like yep. people who are trying to just like get over on people or use it for bad and then they have these artificial intelligence programs writing themselves and fucking using it for evil. The ones that yeah. like admit to wanting to kill us. Fucked. We are fucked. Although you could make the argument that like Zuckerberg probably is that dude. Zuckerberg probably is a supervillain. And he also could be artificial intelligence, too. He might just be art artificial I, intelligence I would, himself. I would, po I would say it's more likely than not that Zuckerberg is an android at this yeah. point. Do you he see how fast he learned things. Mandarin or whatever? Yeah. He just like, knows Mandarin? He could just rattle off Mandarin <laughs> like that? Nobody, nobody, no, no one nobody can do does that. that. No one. Nobody. Who's learning? Who's doing this learning thing? <laughs> not a, not Elon anyone. Musk, too. He's another one. I know we talk shit about him, but like... Apparently Tesla's like, they were down like 20% in a day. Did you catch up on that? 
No. They unveiled that stupid truck, the one that he broke the window during the, uh, <laughs> the oh, truck yeah, sucks yeah, yeah. moment ever. That truck sucks. Is and that I why think they're everyone, down? I think everyone was like, that truck sucks. They were down something crazy though. It was like Dave said it was like 15 or 20 percent in a day. It's That's harder. A lot. I almost was like, are you sure, Dave? It's harder to talk shit about Tesla now because he's so because Dave's so connected with it. Where like I want to laugh in Tesla's face. Yeah, but, but yeah, I also don't want to die. In your, in your boss's you know? face. Yeah. <laughs> There's you so many I mean? Teslas on the road too, dude. I was I'm on the road this past weekend. Like, I don't care about your car. <laughs> Those cars if, stink if anyway. Elon Musk they? needs yeah. to be, I don't know if that's true, but. Um, they, if you, I'm telling you. If you dig Watch deep like enough. Watch like Cedar Rapids. I'm just telling you. You got to take my word for it. Quarter million if you, dollar if, cars. Um, I'd like the bumpers fall off a lot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah? If you go on, you can find it on Twitter somewhere. I heard somewhere. they also just explode. I've heard that too. You just yeah. push to start and pfft, you're dead. <laughs> yeah. You're fucking dead. You're fucking man. I've also heard there's only like God two fire. recharging stations in the country. Right. I like just making things up now. It I mean, sounds good. I'm buying into everything. You sure. I'm gullible. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just as bad as spaceships. They blow up all the time. And, you know, yeah. same shit, man. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's it for this. Anything for the after show? Uh, what? Any any internal drama at the moment? What's the to, drama? To What's some uh, sweet ass drama? I don't think so. All right. We lost Ellie. Him. That's sad. Yeah. Sad uh, to lose Ellie. Best of luck to Ellie. She's, best of luck to Ellie. MIA for a little while, and uh, she's going out on her own. I think she's gonna crush it on her own, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, so another one bites the dust, but good run for Ellie, and uh, best yep. of luck. Best so. of luck. Yeah, for sure. Best of luck. Get your nunchucks. <laughs>